Hi everybody, it's Terry with paperologist.blogspot.com and in five minutes I'm going to show you how to set up folders in your Quick Cut Silhouette library. So here we go. Remember you can always run this video back if you need to. So here's a picture of my blog and I got a great question about how you set up folders. Here's the videos about the other uh, folder printing options. And here is the actual question. And this person says, I show two options, search and digital designs, and how do I set up folders? So here we go, I'll show you how to do that. What you want to do is launch your RoboMaster software, open a new document, and then launch your library. Now, my library comes up with the option tab first, and I have it set up to view the images as large and table view. You can view other sizes, small, medium, and it will show you more images, but this is what works best for me. You can also use this tab for searching. And what you do is you type in the word that you want to search for. For example, I'm going to use tabs, plural. And it comes up with six images with the word tabs in it. If I type in TA, I get 85 images. If I type in TABS and do search now, get that many. But if I type in tab singular, I get even more. So I get 33. So what I want to do is I want to add a new folder. So to add a folder, I clicked on My Digital Designs, I pick Add Folder, and you give it a name. It's going to show up at the bottom of your list, and I called my folder Tabs. I'm also going to go back up here to Search again, and I'm going to retype Tab, and I'm going to pick Search Now. It's going to find everything with the word Tab in it. Okay. So to move everything that you found into the same folder, you do Control A or Control All, and you click and you carefully drag and let up. Now if I click on this folder, you'll see everything with tab or the word tabs in it. Okay. To add a subfolder, I have selected my folder. You can see it's great here. Pick Add Folder and give it a new name and I'm going to call it PC tabs and for me that means print and cut. Say I want to add this one. I'm holding down my shift key and I'm selecting the ones with the P. If I don't want this one I let up, I select the control key and I continue clicking. So I'm going to click, these are all print and cut tabs and I can drag them and drop them into this folder. So they're in the subfolder here and they're still in the main folder. So you can put images in multiple folders. Now, back in my main tab folder here, I noticed that I had this particular image. And I don't really think that it works for me in the tab folder. But it could definitely be um, vinyl. So I'm going to put this in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick delete designs. Now it says that I've chosen to delete one because it's highlighted. I'm not going to delete it from my library and it's telling me that, but I am going to delete it from this folder so I pick yes. And now you'll see I have 32 images. So there you go. Let's say I wanted to rename this folder. You just click on rename and let's make it just vinyl art and pick save. Now the last thing, we don't have a lot of time left, is I want to show you how you can reorder your tabs. So you just click and drag and drop it on top of where you want it to go. There you go. So now it's above tags and tabs. It doesn't alphabetize them when it puts in, but um, that's how you do it. So here's some of the folders that I have set up. I have not been very diligent about categorizing as I go, but I think it's a helpful tool along with the search. Thanks for watching. Leave a message. If you have any other questions, please do your best uh, to leave a message and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a great day.